everyone it's your girl Esther welcome back to my channel and this is Esther Spills thank you so much for joining me today to all the new subscribers to the old subscribers thank you so much I really appreciate you making out your time to watch my videos um, in case you're just joining for the first time my name is Esther I I was a I am I was <laughs> In case you're just joining for the first time, my name is Esther. I'm in Nigeria. I'm a 2017 Max scholar currently living in Japan. Uh, from time to time, I make videos and upload them to help um, intending scholars who want to school here in Japan. So basically, I just talk about life in Japan, mostly about scholarship, okay, school stuff, application, and all that. And thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm back with the Erasmus Mundo Scholarship. I know I made a video recently about the Erasmus Mundo Scholarships, but today I'm making another video too on the Erasmus Mundo Scholarships. You know why? Because Erasmus Mundo, they have a whole lot of scholarships covering different fields of study. And so there are so many of them and I'm making this one because the deadline is also quite approaching. So I said to just make this video to help anyone who wants to apply, okay? So today, I'll be introducing to you the European Master in Advanced Solid Mechanics. This is also one of the Erasmus Mundus Scholarship. So this particular one is organized by a consortium of about six universities in Europe, and one of which is the University of Lille. And in the course of this video, I'm going to tell you more about the other universities who make up this consortium. In the meantime, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're just joining for the first time. I promise you're going to enjoy the content of this video. <laughs> now, without further ado, I want to give you a bit of background into the European Master in Advanced Solid Mechanics. So this program is actually a two-year master program of excellence in English for students wishing to develop their knowledge and skills in the field of solid mechanics for the modeling of materials and structures. As I mentioned earlier, it's built by a consortium of about six universities in Europe. And these universities include the Collège Central de Lille, the Universita de la Calabria, the Politecnica Roploska, the National Technical University of Athens. There is also the Université Catholique de Louvain. So these universities are offering this program that leads to a joint diploma program or joint masters in this field, which is the field of advanced solid mechanics. Now, what is the eligibility requirement if you want to apply for this program? For you to be eligible to apply for this program, first of all, you have to have a Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Engineering in the field of mechanics or mechanical engineering, civil engineering, or equivalent with a strong background in mechanics, physics, and mathematics. Also, a second requirement is that all applicants, except for native English speakers, must show proof of proficiency in English language, which means if you're not and if you're not a native English speaker, then you must have written either to EFL or IELTS or Cambridge or have done a university program or university foundation course that uh, prepares you for English language others. All right, now let's go straight up into applying. But first, before we apply, do not forget to like and share this video if you find the content interesting, which I'm very sure you do. I mean, yes, we all find it interesting, right? Now, before we apply, I need you to note the following important information, okay? The first is your application form has to be filled out in English language, okay? While the second is, all the documents you are going to upload in the process of applying must be in English, okay? So if they are not in English, you have to get them translated into English and make sure your university authorizes the translated copy or have them translated by an official translator in your country. Now the third would be to make sure all your documents are in PDF format. The fourth thing you must bear in mind is please do not wait until the deadline, okay? Do not keep pushing it. I always advise people, once you hear about the scholarships and these scholarship opportunities, apply immediately. The fifth thing you must bear in mind is you should be prepared to have uh, two referees to write letters of recommendation for you. The sixth thing you must bear in mind is that all completed applications must be submitted before or at least by the deadline. And the seventh is that incomplete applications will not be accepted. The thing you should bear in mind is that 
you submit more than one application, okay, just bear in mind that the most recent one is the one that is going to be considered. And then the ninth thing you should remember is that after you apply, after you've sent your application, you're going to receive an acknowledgement of receipt of your documents, okay? So you're going to get that in your email. Now, next, uh, let's talk about the documents you need to upload in the in the course of this um, application. Please bear in mind that your application process is going to be done online, and which is why those documents have to be in PDF files so you can upload them easily. Now, there are some documents you need to upload um, while applying. So this document includes two recommendation letters, you need certified uh, copies of your diplomas or degree results or degree certificates. Another document you would need to upload would be a copy of your academic transcript. Again, you would also need to upload a copy of, of a, a copy of um, documents certifying your English abilities. Again, you would also need to uh, you would also need to upload proof of your exact place of residence. Next would be um, a copy of your passport or or an official ID. And then you can also upload any other document you think is important or relevant to your application. Let's assume you have applied, you've sent in your documents, okay? Um, so bear in mind that pre-selected uh, candidates will be invited to an interview, okay? This interview will be done in English and it will be, um, they will be interviewed by two members of the selection committee of the Erasmus Mundus. And basically what the interview is about is to check your motivations, to check if the projects you have on hand align with the, the aims or the objectives of the program you're applying for. And also they also want to check your command of English. So it's basically getting to meet you and see, seeing if you're indeed what your documents say you are. I know you're looking forward to this part where you get to know the benefits of this scholarship program. It's overemphasized. Like once you just hear of Erasmus Mundus scholarship, like if you're going for the Erasmus Mundus scholarships, just know that it's full tuition covered, uh, travel allowances, stipends, everything you need to make your studies very your study very easy, smooth going is there it's covered that is why it's called the erasmus Mundus. remember it's sponsored by the european union it actually has two application calls okay now the first call basically um is mostly for those who are intending to get the erasmus Mundus scholarship so the first call uh began on december 1st 2021 and is going to end by february the 28th 2022 if you apply for this first call then that automatically qualifies you for a scholarship okay however if you're applying for the second call the second course begins march 15th 2022 and ends in may 15th 2022 okay but this time if you're going for the second call then it means you're coming as a self-funded student okay so if you really want to get the scholarship please try to apply in the first call and the first call ends in february 28th 2022 okay i hope that's clear so i really want you to grab hold of this opportunity and get this scholarship which is why i want you to send in your application before february 28th 2022 okay we don't have much time i have said a whole lot of things I know you'd have questions. I'm going to leave a link to the application form in the description box below. Okay, so please check the link and apply as soon as possible. I would also leave the address to the University of Lille's graduate admissions office so you can also reach out to them if you have extra questions or some other information you want to get from them as regards this scholarship. In addition, if you have questions, if you have comments from me, Please do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share this video with your friends and loved ones and whoever you think needs the scholarship, okay? Thank you so much for sticking up with me, for sticking with me all through this part of the video. Thank you so much for the many comments. I've been reading comments from the previous videos. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate some of you reach out to me by email. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for the encouragement too. They mean a lot to me and also feel free to always send your feedback if there is something you think i need to do to make the channel better or you think there's something i should do to make the content more interesting or better for you please feel free to leave that all in the comment section below thank you so much i love you all thank you so much for supporting you girl
<laughs> yeah thank you so much and until i come your way next time it's your girl esther saying be nice be kind and be happy